The holiday season reminds us of the importance of family, faith, and home. These are also recurring themes in the poetry of Effie Waller-Smith, who lived and wrote in the mountains of Pike County in the early 1900s. Christmas Wishes by Effie Waller-Smith To a friend Many Christmas wishes, friend, to you on this day I send. First, I wish your home to be filled with cheerfulness and glee. May your fireside snug be bright with that gentle, radiant light that beautified that holy night in Bethlehem of yore. Effie Waller-Smith embodies so much of what uh, this region is about. It's not what you think. In the age in which she was born and lived, that uh, here in the hills of Eastern Kentucky, uh, a, uh, a widely renowned poet, all the things that are counterintuitive to the stereotypes we see. She was born in 1879 on Chloe Creek in Pike County. And she lived in an integrated community, which was unusual for that period of time. Uh, and I think that, as a result, influenced a great deal of her, of her writing. Her roots are very interesting. Her father was a slave on the Waller Plantation, Cedar Point, in Spotsylvania County, Virginia. Her mother was Sibby Ratliff. She was born in Pike County she was actually born into slavery. But yet, after the Civil War, they were able to come here. Her father came here for because he could go into business, and he was allowed to exercise his economic freedom here and grow, and he was a, a successful businessman. Frank was uh, keyed on education. She attended segregated schools. Uh, of course, the school only went to the eighth grade at that point, and she left. Uh, after she graduated, she left, went to Kentucky Normal School for Colored People in, in Frankfort, which is now Kentucky State University. Uh, Alfred went to Kentucky State uh, University. Rosa went to Kentucky State University, Effie's older brother and sister. I think as they gained their education, they brought books home to little sister Effie, and she exploded into poetry. She had the benefit of, of higher education, and then she had a God-given gift. And may gentle love serene be your law and be your queen. And may peace and happiness you and yours forever bless. And social mirth and gaiety and all the pleasures that there be on earth, I wish them all to thee and thine forevermore. Songs of the Months it was published in 1904, which is her first book of poetry. And the interesting thing, it was bankrolled by some local people in Pikeville. One of which was Mary Elliott Flannery, one of the most famous women in Kentucky history. They thought so much of her and wanted to promote her uh, that they published her first book for her. First of all, when you read Effie, I think she embodies, uh, she wasn't uh, in the mountains, the mountains were in her. And that's what separates Effie from uh, uh, verse writers. She, she was an artist at it. She really was a talented writer. She had, of course, now we're talking about she was anachronistic in the sense that she wrote poetry that was of the time, the style of the time. But she had a great knowledge of structure, meter, rhyme scheme. Um, and these poems were not easy to write. And so uh, if you really want to go back in time and uh, really understand what the world looked like through Effie's eyes, who can describe it so much uh, more eloquently than I ever do, uh, it's really why I, I, I've fallen in love with her. She was just good. Uh, and I can tell from her early writings, some of them were, were very, very special and very, very insightful. She was truly a rare person. At Christmas, uh, we give each other gifts uh, to symbolize the great gift that the birth of Christ was to us and all mankind. And, uh, you know, and Effie's poetry is our gift. 
And uh, if people are watching this right now uh, and uh, experiencing and meeting Effie for the first time, hey, Merry Christmas. This is a wonderful gift and you'll enjoy it. Many welcome gifts, dear friend. I hope your friends to you may send. But one gift I hope that thou has possessed long ere now, that the gift of love divine, fair today I hope shall shine, brighter over thee and thine than e'er it did before. <laughs>